Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So I saw people talking about this on uh, Crypto Twitter, and I thought I should address it, but first this tweet from Crypto-XRP, that's at Crypto underscore dash XRP. How many articles have recently come out since XRapid was announced eight months ago, announcing the death of Ripple, but never the death of BTC, LTC, or ETH, or any other crypto for that matter? What are they afraid of? And so to me, Crypto-XRP brings up a great point. It only seems as though the FUD is always pointed towards Ripple and never any other cryptocurrency when we see um, new developments in the space with regards to blockchain technology, fintech, so on and so forth. They're always discussing Ripple, but never the end of any other cryptocurrency. So this from my main man, DM Logic at I'm the debate. If you guys don't follow DM Logic on Twitter, uh, you probably should. And he also has a YouTube channel that he sometimes updates. He writes in his tweet, this has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with posing a threat to Ripple. You have no idea what you're talking about, just FYI. And he's referring to this Matty Green Greenspan tweets. So he links this tweet from Matty Greenspan. This can't be good for Ripple. And he uh, links to this Forbes article talking about Visa entering the $125 trillion global money transfer market. Now, if you guys do not know, Matty Greenspan is a Bitcoin enthusiast, so he is slightly partial on the matter. Also, the senior market analyst at eToro. I feel like eToro is flipping and flopping with regards to Ripple and XRP. I feel like they have a bit of a love-hate relationship. Um, let's take a look at this article. So Visa enters the 125 trillion global money transfer market with new blockchain product. Uh, so it talks about Visa, seems to do everything on a massive scale. Last year, it moved 11.2 trillion over its payment rails across more than 200 countries for purchases ranging from cups of coffee to cars. Now it's eyeing an even bigger market, cross-border business-to-business transactions, where banks transfer money on behalf of corporate customers. Visa says it's entering a $125 trillion market and using distributed ledger technology, software where transactions must be confirmed by multiple computers on a network to be considered final, to make these payments faster, cheaper, and more transparent. Then it goes on to talk about Swift, and it goes on to talk about uh, a little bit of history on Visa. Okay, fine. Now, going back to Matty Greenspan's tweet here, Crypto-XRP did comment on this. FYI, Visa bought a Ripple partner called Earthport. So for those of you guys who do not remember that, Visa did buy Earthport. With Earthport, Visa will enable cross-border business personal transfers of funds for its customers through bank accounts worldwide. Guess whose technology they will be using to accomplish this? Yes, you guessed it. Ripple. Do your own research. And so Crypto-Dash is referring to this here when Visa did acquire control of Earthport to enable account-to-account -account transfers. Uh, and that was published on May 8th. So this uh, was a fairly recent development and the, and the deal was finally inked and it did go through. Before that, uh, this was back from February 2019 when Visa was actually in a uh, bidding war with MasterCard uh, for the Earthport deal. And so finally Visa did decide to boost their offer and they did indeed secure the $319.84 million deal. Uh, and just to keep connecting the dots here, guys, Earthport does use real-time remittances with Ripple Labs, uh, and that deal was inked back in 2014, December 4th, 2014 was this news report. So I wouldn't worry about this too much. Now, down here, though, Matt Hamilton does write this, and Matt Hamilton is indeed a proponent of XRP, but he does write this. It could be competition, but there are some significant differences. If they are using Hyperledger, then they don't have an actual public traded token, or any token for that matter. So they are not able to settle real time, hence articles saying one to two days settlement, plus it is a closed network. So... Guys, just more of the same here. You know, if they can't settle instantly, to me, this is considered inferior technology. And so where does it say here in this article, one to two days, because I did read that as well when I read this article. Anyway, I can't find it right now, but it is in here somewhere. Uh, so Matt Hamilton does have a point. It does settle in one to two days, not using XRP to, or any token for that matter, to leverage the liquidity we need to settle instantly. But guys, realistically, where are money transfers going? Settling instantly is going to be one of the most important features, I think, in the future for this kind of technology. And I have one word for you, millennials. Down with waiting more than five minutes and 100% behind instant gratification. The generation that will change this world, who knows, for the better or for the worse. Okay, now I'm just being silly. 
But seriously though, instantaneous transfers will be very important for future generations. Anyways guys, that's all I wanted to mention regarding this, uh, this tweet from Maddie Greenspan here. It doesn't worry DM Logic, nor does it worry me, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.